Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Whisk Arrow sues Archer Aviation, also Robinson R66 Police Chopper joins Polk County Sheriff, and NASA's Mars Helicopter survives first cold Martian night. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, so let's start with, boy, do we got some drama for you. Whisk Arrow has filed a lawsuit against Archer Aviation. The lawsuit alleges that Archer's business is built on intellectual property that is not theirs. Also bringing claims for trade secret misappropriation and patent infringement. As detailed in the filing in federal court in the Northern District of California, this loot follows. Whisk alleged discovery of suspicious file downloads by certain former employees who left Whisk to work for Archer, including thousands of files related to Whisk confidential aircraft designs, component designs, system designs, manufacturing, and test data. Archer's recent disclosure of an aircraft design reportedly appears to be a copy of a design Whisk developed and submitted in a confidential patent application to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office back in January of 2020. Archer's aircraft disclosure was made in connection with its plan to merge with Atlas Crest Corporation. As stated in the complaint, Whisk brings this lawsuit to stop a brazen theft of its intellectual property and confidential information and protect the substantial investment of resources and years of hard work and efforts of its employees and their vision of the future in urban air transportation. After the break, we'll tell you who will be receiving the 2021 Clifford Henderson Trophy. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Tuskegee Airmen to receive the 2021 Clifford Henderson Trophy. NAA has announced that the Tuskegee Airmen have been selected as the recipient of the 2021 Clifford Henderson Trophy. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black military aviators in the U.S. Army Air Corps. In 1941, with the start of World War II imminent, it was decided to offer training to African Americans as pilots, mechanics, and support staff. The new airbase in Tuskegee, Alabama became the center of the training program for over 14,000 black air personnel. SpaceX Starship SN11 Blow Up Explained on Tuesday, March 30th, SpaceX launched its fourth high-altitude flight test of Starship from Starbase in Texas. Shortly after the landing, burn started. SN11 experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Now we know why, because Elon says, Asin phase transition to horizontal and control during free fall were good. A relatively small CH4 leak led to fire on engine two and fried part of avionics, causing hard start attempting landing burn in CH4 turbo pump. This is getting fixed six ways to Sunday. Gulfstream delivers special mission aircraft. 
Gulfstream has delivered a special missions Gulfstream G550 to the Israeli Air Force to support and enhance their mission critical surveillance operations. Gulfstream's engineers designed the adjustments to the aircraft's exterior and flight deck, and its production team built the surveillance platform in the dedicated special missions modification facilities in Savannah. Gulfstream has been producing special missions aircraft for over 50 years, with more than 200 aircraft delivered to governments and militaries in more than 40 countries. Duncan Aviation installs 100th Falcon winglets. Duncan Aviation has delivered the 100th pair of Aviation Partners Inc. blended winglets that the company has installed on a Dassault Falcon aircraft. A Falcon 900EX flew away from the company's Lincoln, Nebraska MRO facility with the honors last week. In 2008, Duncan Aviation partnered with API and the OEM to install the API blended winglets on a Falcon 2000EX for supplemental type certificate certification flight test. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. On April 2nd, Robinson Helicopter Company delivered R66 Police Helicopter Serial Number 1025 to Florida's Polk County Sheriff's Office, just in time for Sun and Fun 2021. PCSO's R66 police helicopter is the first R66 police helicopter configured with a webcam MX10 EOIR imaging system and an HD infrared sensor, a system widely used by Homeland Security and law enforcement agencies. In addition to a standard Spectrolab SX7 Star Sun searchlight system, PCSO's R66 includes an optional Aero Computer's UC6000 digital mapping system auxiliary fuel tank, impact-resistant windshield, Garmin's G500X TXI 1060 flight display and synthetic vision, an NVG-rated instrument for future NVG certification. PCSO air support flies on average 1,100 hours each year. Centrally located between Orlando and Tampa, PCSO provides air support for every law enforcement agency in its 2,000-square-mile county as well as surrounding counties. Having a robust aviation unit is critical to our mission of keeping people safe. We are thrilled to add the Robinson R-66 turbine helicopter to our aviation fleet. Not only is this aircraft a great asset to law enforcement, it allows us to cost-effectively support and protect our citizens better than any other options out there, said Sheriff Grady Judd. After these messages, NASA's Mars helicopter spends first Martian night by itself. Those details after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. NASA's Mars helicopter survives first cold Martian night solo. Ingenuity has emerged from its first night on the Martian surface. Evening temperatures at Jezero Crater can plunge as low as minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which can freeze and crack unprotected electrical components and damage the onboard batteries required for flight. Surviving that first night after being deployed from where it was attached to the belly of NASA's Perseverance rover on April 3rd is a major milestone for the four-pound rotorcraft. Devising a craft small enough to fit onto the rover, light enough to fly in Mars's thin atmosphere, yet hardly enough 
to withstand the Martian cold presented significant challenges. To ensure the solar array atop the helicopter's rotors could begin getting sunlight as soon as possible, Perseverance was instructed to move away from ingenuity. Until the helicopter puts its four legs onto the Martian surface, Ingenuity remained attached to the belly of the rover, receiving power from Perseverance, which touched down at Jezero Crater on February 18th. If all goes well with each of the pre-flight checks, Ingenuity's first attempt to lift off from the middle of its 33 by 33 foot airfield, chosen for its flatness and lack of of obstructions will be no sooner than the evening of April 11th. Well, that does it for our show today. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.